Hey guys, it's been a while since I last updated, apart from when uh, my last video was talking to Maddie's brothers about how they, what they know about the transgender community. So an update for you is that I finally had my second appointment with Jessica and I met Dr. Lorimer and he is the most amazing guy on this earth. There is, there is no explanation for him. He is funny, brilliant and all round friendly. He, he made me feel comfortable the whole time I was there, um, along with my mum. Well, just to keep it short, I, he's prescribed me sustenance, which means that I am ready to start testosterone, <laughs> um, which is a really, really crazy feeling. It's Boots today. It was a private prescription. Yeah, so I went to Boots and basically ordered it in, and I should be picking it up tomorrow around three o'clock. So hopefully my shot should be around that time, which means tomorrow I will no longer be pre-testosterone, which is such a crazy thought. <laughs> Mum will be injecting me, uh, we've got all the needles at the ready, I mean, they're all under my desk, I mean you can kind of see them, ignore the mess of the desk, but you've got like the sharps box and then the needles and stuff there, yeah, anywho. So yeah, Mum's Mum's gonna be doing it. She's gonna be my my designated nurse as such. Um, she wants to be the first one to stick a needle in me. Sustenin, basically, for those that don't know, is a intramuscular. It's like the depot. If anybody's heard of the depot, it's sort of it goes right to the muscle and it disperses slowly over time. And and Mum wants to stick it basically in my ass, whereas most people do it in their thigh. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. She knows what she's doing. And I will, I will promise that I will record, film, whatever you want to call it, my first shot being done. You can all see that, you can meet my mum. So yeah, that, that should be done tomorrow for you, which means you should have the video either tomorrow or the end of the week with feelings, all of that. At the appointment, we, as well as talking about uh, the hormones, we also talked about what plans I had in the future, my transition. And so, as most of you know, definitely want to have top surgery, chest surgery. It's something that needs to go, it's it's not my friend and in all honesty if I could have had top surgery before hormones I would have, only because it's my chest that annoys me more than anything else. I mean I, it's 50-50 on days when I could pass as male. Uh, some people see me as male, some people see me as female, sometimes it's my voice that gives me away, sometimes I just look more feminine in clothing than other clothing. So yeah, we, we talked about top surgery. He asked if I'd researched any surgeons. I was worried about this because I'd literally only just talked to mum about top surgery whilst we were waiting in the train station. I hadn't spoken about it before. And I told her that I really want to go with Dr. Garamone. And I basically explained him as the heaven sent angel for trans guys that were having chest surgery. I think she realises how important he is to me and how important his results are. Like. They're just phenomenal. He is, his, he, he works on his own, well not on his own, but it's his own clinic, which is only for trans guys. So he doesn't do anything else like cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery, all of that. He, he only does chest surgery for trans guys, which means that obviously it's gonna make him a hell of a lot better than the rest because he's more advanced, he has so much more experience and I haven't seen any bad result from him. Mum's support on that, which I didn't expect, I am hoping to save up and go private with Dr. Garamone. He will cost roughly £8,500. That's obviously converted from dollars. That includes surgery, uh, hospital fees, the anaesthetist, travel, accommodation, all of this. Uh, so it's pricey. But I, I reckon I can do it. The only issue is she doesn't want me to go alone. Fair enough. I'd be a little bit worried about going alone. Uh, I'd have to be in Florida. That's that's where Dr. Garamone is, if I didn't mention that before. He's in Florida. I need to find someone that will go with me for two weeks to Florida. <laughs> I mean, how bad could that be? So it's basically a two-week holiday for you. Also, you need to take really good care of me. I mean, mum might be able to come. It honestly just depends when I can get this surgery. If there's any offers, I'm... Happy to hear them, as long as you promise that you will take good care of me because I will be probably in a lot of pain, not be able to do much for myself and in all honesty you might have to help dress me. 
Oh, and you've also not got to be squeamish at the at the idea of blood and stuff like that, because there's, there's going to be... There's, there's going to be. Uh, and you'll also see me cry, probably. I will, I will probably cry. So, that's everything. Um, the extra bit is to fund um, my transition. We'll get my GoFundMe back up again in case there is anybody that wants to do donations. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not asking, I'm just saying it's there. Um, but I'm actually, I've joined Juice Plus, which is a distributing company for um, a weight loss as well as promoting health. So it's sort of like your hair, your skin, your nails, everything that I'm into, obviously. Which I am, I'm distributing as well as trying the products for myself whilst I'm transitioning to help boost my weight loss. Because as you've seen in previous videos, this thing about me being 13 stone, I lost half a pound, which isn't much but it's something but it's it's not going quick enough when the fat gets redistributed and moved around my body uh, anyone that knows me knows i've got very large thighs arse and hips it's all going on down there uh, all of that will basically move to my tummy creating a massive health risk because it's going to be putting so much pressure on this area it's going to be such a problem i need to get rid of that and i figured juice plus I already have clients uh, and I've researched everything into it and I know that it will help me. You can follow that journey as well as my transition, just in case you wanted to support me, try the products for yourself, etc, etc. Uh, I will also be offering services such as washing cars and gardening and anything else that you can think of to raise more money. Uh, that can either go straight as cash to me or go straight into my GoFundMe. I think that's everything. You'll have a video of my first shot tomorrow. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, yeah, so I shall see you all later.